Um, yeah, we're getting into layers now. We're getting into some fucking layers of reaction now. What if, like, I react to this? Yeah, go on then. Let's get into layers of reaction. We're four layers deep now. Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? Today we're going to be reacting to Pro Chef Reacts to Vincenzo Reacts to Case Cooking Carpenter. This is so, such a stupid fucking thing. Chef Brian Sao here, not your typical chef, and today I'm going to be reacting to Italian Chef Reacts to Worst Carbonara Video. We're going to be reacting to my homeboy Vincenzo's plate. And as it happens, I'm going to be reacting to my homeboy K through the medium of Vincenzo being reacted to by what the fuck was your name again oh brian brian taco not taco i don't have my new glasses yet okay i can't actually see is that cold water okay we are 10 seconds into the video and there is a massive f up yeah, no, like, she's not good enough at cooking to have actually warmed up the water, so yeah, this is the thing. You can just warm up the water, bruv. It's fine. Just put it in the microwave with the spaghetti in. You need to boil the water first. Have you seen the electricity bills? They blew up the gas pipe. It tastes the cream. Yeah, but not a lot if you get what I mean. You might have to have it all then. <laughs> Legit, I did not understand a single word of what they just said. A lot smarter, you daft, you daft sod. Spooky hell. Maybe let's do a translation of this to American, okay? I hope you're getting this. I hope you can understand. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place. Food ambassador. Is that like an official position from the Italian government? I can see that, to be honest with you, considering how serious Italians take stuff. They're getting carbonara or something. Carbonara. Carbonara or something. <laughs> carbonara. So let's talk really quick about the pasta water and cooking of pasta. I mentioned in my reaction to Vincenzo's carbonara video that a good rule of thumb is always to use a bigger pot with a mass of water that is greater than what you think you actually need, the pasta is going to cool down that water. If pasta cools down water, why do you not get them sticking some spaghetti in your drink at the bar? Explain that, science man. If the pasta sits in water too long and it's not cooking, the starches are going to saturate and then it's going to give you that fat, gross, soggy pasta, which is not what we want. If that pasta isn't wet, I ain't hitting. You actually look at professional pasta cookers. There is a section of the water with a platform where the baskets sit on, but underneath that platform is actually the, the heating coils and like another tank, like a sub tank, housing more water. I think you, the average Ukrainian has a pretty big tank in the kitchen as well at this point. Different, different sort, admittedly. So what's gonna happen is the section of spaghetti that is submerged underwater is going to cook more than the rest of the pasta. As that cooks, it's gonna wilt down and that pasta is gonna slowly kind of sink in to the rest of the water. Water. What, am I supposed to grab it out and turn it round or something? It just, it just like eventually sinks in a bit. And I know I haven't got any fucking Michelin stars out, right, but like every time I've done spaghetti, it seemed like it was pretty fucking fine. So like, I don't know. I appreciate it's not complicated enough. It wouldn't fetch a billion quid in a fucking um, Michelin star restaurant. It's pretty fine, isn't it? I want to cook it for 11 minutes. Mine wants 11 minutes. Seems oh, good. No, honey boy. Oh, why, yeah, because Kay would do it. Not to break your little fucking heart, mate, but, like, who the bloody hell is putting olive oil? I've never had spaghetti and been like, oh, yeah, let me put some fucking olive oil in there. If I'm just making some spaghetti for me fucking self, right, why the fuck am I going to be like, gosh, well, I need some olive oil on this, obviously. Is that butter or lard? I'm not exactly sure, but let's keep watching. Um, uh, you've got to... Putting fat in there? It's something new. Maybe it's the future. But I never use fat in carbonara because mm -hmm. the fat is already in the guanciale or pancetta. And mm -hmm. when it melts, it becomes oil. So what Vincenzo is saying is um, something like pancetta, which is made of pork belly, guanciale, which is made of the pork jowl. Obviously, Kay's cooking is going to be using any of those ingredients, clearly. Yeah, she's just going to be using diced up bacon that you get from supermarket. Like, bruv, what's he thinking? Like, bruv. 
chill like we already know she's not gonna be making actual like authentic italian carbonara just just get just you know like my son can't have cheese not because yeah there you go i knew it i fucking knew it that looks like a like a um the equivalent of what the ribeye would be with some of the cap at the end i'm not sure if you guys know let me know but that's not bacon what the fuck are you talking about that's like just back a, a cut of like back bacon what do you want about what the fuck am i on a different planet because literally you just go to a shop and that's like the normal ass bacon that you get the fact that someone who says they're a chef has never seen a cut of bacon like that where have you been son where have you fucking been? Like, I've seen American bacon, I know what it's like. I would have thought you'd have seen other bloody cuts a bit. Jesus Christ. Well I'm not sure about you, but this is really disappointing that 107,000 people watched this lady doing something she never made. It's almost as if it's a YouTube video that's, enterta that's entertaining and YouTube is supposed to be about entertainment. That would be my guess. Oh god, what a miserable fucking take. God damn. Yes. No one's going to Kay's cooking to find out how to make stuff. The only people who are going to make the s cooking the same way are uh, either streamers who are doing it for a laugh, YouTubers who are doing it for a laugh, or just random person who's doing it for a laugh. No one's actually serious they're going to be looking at and thinking, oh, you know, okay, that's some, that's some bomb ass looking food, that is. She's putting another steak in there. She's putting another steak in there. I mean, those are those are just like thin sliced pork chops. I think that's the ribeye section. Yes, yeah, so that's just how bacon comes over. It comes here in the UK, innit? Like, professional chef, by the way. <laughs> now I'm going to add the cream into the... Okay. I'm going to I'm not even supposed to be doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. My thing with this is the I know where she's going. She's going to put the cream in. Then she's just going to put the bacon in. And that's it. It's literally just going to be those. It's just going to be those three things. Where's the pecorino cheese? Have you got pecorino cheese, Kay? Pecorino cheese. Have you heard about pecorino cheese? Oh, yeah. Let me just go to Tesco and get fucking pecorino cheese. As if, like, Kay from Kay's Bloody Cooking in Northern England was going to be like, all right, I got me pecorino cheese. I got me pecorino and me granciale. What planet are you living on? Are you looking? In what universe are you looking at this? At Kay's cooking and being like, Oh man, I can't believe she's she's like not doing stuff like properly the authentic Italian way. But man, this is already a freaking train wreck. Hey, it's a Kay's cooking video. It's a train wreck from the very beginning. That's why we watch them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look <laughs> Jesus at all that Christ. coagulation. <laughs> oh, typical Kay. As far as I know, the carbonara is done. Done? You think? So, do you want to come and do the taste test, please? No. Yes, do no, don't do it. Don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Right. Taste test. Why is he wearing Chris Chan's shirt? <laughs> this poor kid, dude. <laughs> this is the thing. Imagine him having to eat all of, like, her stuff. He has to, like, eat all of her things, even the worst of them. I gotta be real, though, this is hardly the worst thing that Kay's ever made. It's not good. By Kay standards, is it really the worst? Like, no. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. Look at her face! Look at her face! She's so disappointed! Oh, I'm so, so sorry for her right now. She tried so hard to do it. She tried so hard. She's disappointed. She's looking at the pasta right now saying, what have I done wrong? What have you done wrong? No pecorino cheese. Eggs. Pepper. Where is the pepper? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, pepper was in there. She was sliced into pieces and then placed in. I, if I had kids, I'd figure out some kind of way of like making it seem as though Peppa Pig was no longer on the TV. And I'd, 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 be, I'd serve them bacon and be like, here you go, kids, it's Peppa Pig. This is why it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and I'd make sure that after that, on every single day they went to watch TV, Peppa Pig was no longer on there. 
just to really reinforce the idea that Peppa Pig, that I'd like sliced Peppa Pig's body up and served her. Anyway, back to Kay's cooking. Little bits of flavor, you know. You can taste the cream. Yeah, but not a lot if you get what I mean. You might have to have it all then. You might have to have it all then. Yeah, fair. I mean, you know. <laughs> Maybe if you eat the whole thing, you'll finally get some flavor. <laughs> Uh, I had an absolute blast watching this video. K reacting to this. Uh, of K reacting. Of what? That would be great to see K react to videos of watching Vincenzo react to K. I'd love to see K like doing some doing some kind of reaction to the people around her. I don't know if she ever would, but I would really love to see like her reacting to like especially to people like Vincenzo because he's like an actual like pro fucking chef and sort of to. He's incapable of looking at things any other way than a pro chef would. And Kay, I think fairly obviously, isn't a pro chef. So this is this is the thing. You want my carbonara video? I have two different recipes, okay? First of all, take this. You, you stab a lint up, stick it in microwave for three minutes, and then you eat it. Second recipe, you dump some of this in a pan, you heat it up, and then you just pick up the spaghetti and you like stick it on the plate and stick the sauce in there. That was it. Thank you, Chef Brian Sal. Apologies that I got your name wrong and said that you were and called you Mr. Taco because I, I don't have I don't have any glasses right now. Like um, so yeah.